Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, and there is Samson, but I know it's been a long time, and they have actually cut our hours to eight hours a day, and it seems like it goes so fast, and it makes it a huge difference. So I'm going to try, I'm going to keep the videos, try to keep them to five minutes, and just give little updates a lot more often. So, today I'm going to talk about the Plaquenil. As you know in my other videos, I only take 200 milligrams. I've tried to get up to 3, and I've tried to get up to 4. But the two side effects I have is itching. Now, with 200 milligrams, I take a 10 milligram of Claritin every morning, and it takes care of that. If I go up above 200 the itching is unreal. It's like tiny needles sticking you all over, and I can't take it. The other side effect is my stomach. Uh, even on 200 milligram, I was taking it in the morning, and for the first two or three hours, I had stomach cramps and nausea, and then it went away. So I decided to start taking it at night. Hopefully, I just sleep through it. No... Um, it, it was okay for a few days, and then it got to where it was actually waking me up, feeling nauseated and cramping. So what I'm doing now is halving it, and I'm taking half in the morning and half at night. And I'm going to see if I can tolerate the stomach cramps and nausea that way. They still come, but they only last a short while. Because I even talked to him when I went for my checkup last month, and he said that that was it. He wasn't going to give me medicine for the side effects that another medicine was causing. And I love that about him. So I'm trying to hang on to the 200 milligram by doing it 100 in the morning and 100 at night. So that's my update on the Plaquenil right now. Uh, because as most of you know, when you go to the doctor, it's Plaquenil, and after that, it's just chemo drugs. They can call it Imuran, Methotrexate, they can call it whatever they want to. But guys, if you look it up, if your doctor doesn't tell you, it's a chemo drug. So therefore, you're breaking down your immune system. It can also cause cancer over long periods of time. And sometimes in our lupus, uh we will get to the place that we don't have a choice. That if our organs are being attacked or whatever, you have to do the steroids and the chemo. But fortunately right now, I'm not there, and I do not choose to go on the chemo drugs. I'm already taking the IVIG infusion because my immune system is so low. So I've got to keep on trying to find a way to make it work. Um, so the next one, the next video, I am going to try to talk about my CBD. So I've got to head off to work. I love you guys. Leave comments, and I will try to get to you and answer you. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.